welcome to another video with iLearn Engineering. My name is Leslie. Today we're going to be covering SMTP. So we'll talk about what it is and what it's used for and hopefully you'll learn something from this. So SMTP, oh, where's my little twofer? It stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and it's used for sending emails, which the clue is, is kind of in the name, I guess. It is a TCP IP protocol. Um, and hopefully you've watched our, our video on TCP IP, but if not, I would definitely recommend that you go and watch it. It might make something, some of the things that we're talking about here, mean it a bit more, make a bit more sense. Um, so SMTP is used for transferring the messages so it will send the messages it doesn't receive messages it doesn't have that ability so it's normally used in conjunction with a couple of other protocols which we'll mention as well um and just in case you haven't watched some of our previous videos a protocol is a method of communication um within a network so people talk about network protocols it's it, imagine that you're going to meet someone you're walking down the street and you're going to meet them. We have a way that we open communications with people. We have a way that we close communication. So, um, you know, where I'm from, we have our own message. You'll meet someone and you'll say, oh, you know, how's it going? Or what's the crack with you? Or you maybe shake hands or hug if it's a friend. You'll have that method of opening the conversation. And then when you're leaving, you'll have a method of, of leaving the conversation. Um, and saying, you know, goodbye, see you later, maybe another hug if you're a friend, um, you know, catch you later, whatever it is. And we have a method in between of how we communicate with each other. So when I speak, when the other person speaks, um, you know, all of that. If we didn't have that, people would just be speaking over the other and there would be no standards. So you wouldn't know how to greet people and they'd be doing something and you'd be doing something else. So that's what a protocol is, long story short. It's... um. It's a, it's a way of communicating, but over a network rather than with people. Um, so that, that's what a protocol is. And SMTP is a protocol for sending information. And then we'll, we'll have some other ones that will, that will receive the information. So SMTP is a three-step uh, process. I can nearly, nearly spell today. <laughs> Okay, so it's a three-step process. So an email server will use SMTP to send a message from an email client. So that could be, um, say, Outlook or uh, Gmail or, you know, Yahoo or whatever, whatever um, mail server that you're using. So the mail server will use SMTP to send that information. It then uses SMTP as a, a relay service. So it sends our message, first of all, from us. So I use Gmail. It will take my message and it will send it to an email server. And then it will say, okay. So the, the client that I'm using will send it to the main email server, first of all. And then it will say, okay, I'll send it on to the receiving email server. So let's say you're using Outlook. Outlook's your email client and you send the message so SMTP will take it from the Outlook client. Just draw a little picture. So this is our client. Let's put over Outlook. So first of all, the message goes to a server in the middle. So this will be the email server for your organization, for example, if it's a work thing. And then it will go on to the recipient's email server. So maybe they're also using Outlook or they're using Yahoo or they're using Gmail or something like that. Um, so it will go to their, I will just say R for recipient. So it goes to the recipient's email server. And then, you know, whoever you've sent the message to, they'll they'll get it from, from that server whenever they want to using whatever client that they want. Um, the receiving server will download that email to their client using something called IMAP, which is a different protocol. Um, so it will use IMAP to then get it down to their Outlook or Gmail or, or whatever. 
Um, and SMTP is the most widely used email protocol at the present time. Um, there's always new things coming out, but it's the most widely sent. And an SMTP server is an application or a computer that will send and relay emails. And they normally use TCP. So we, we talked before in another video about the TCP IP model. So SMTP will use TCP and it will use it on a specific port and a specific network port. So it'll either be port 25 or port 587. Depends on the, the network and the machine. Um, and what that means is it this port number identifies specific processes. So it knows that emails will be sent and SMTP will be sending them and it's a TCP protocol and, and all of that. So it will it will recognize that, that their email message is being sent. Um, and SMTP servers are on what we call an always listening. So if you think about it, um, you go into Outlook or, or whatever it is and you write your email and you hit send, the SMTP server will, because it's always listening, as soon as you have an email, it goes into your outbox, first of all, right? As soon as you hit send, it goes into your outbox and then you don't have to go into your outbox and do anything else. It, it goes automatically, right? It just goes. Um, so the server always listens as soon as it detects any kind of um, email coming from from someone else it will initiate the connection it will it will go on port 25 or 587 and send it straight away from your from your outbox um so so that's what we call this always listening um and the email clients that will send and receive the email will also have the IP protocol um, being used because emails are going over the internet, right? They don't, they don't normally, and you know, the network in your office or something, you know, there's an intranet or an extranet or, or that, but they all, they always go over a network. They always go over the internet. So um, they need to use the, the IP protocol as well. Um, and I would definitely recommend that you watch our video on TCP IP if you haven't already. It will make that it will make that make a lot more sense. Um, and the so say you get spam a lot from a particular particular type of person. We've all had those emails from someone who said, "Oh, just let me transfer money into your account," and then, um, you know, I'll let you keep a certain percentage of it. You know, all those spam kind of emails and they're always from a prince on the other side of the world who you've never heard of um so what the servers can do is restrict the ip address of those those spam email senders um or it can impose some kind of command where there needs to be some kind of authentication so it can reduce our spam as well um it can it can reduce that also which is quite handy excuse me um and if you watched our tcp ip video you will have heard of the term before of a client server model and hopefully you have watched it if not definitely go and watch it um and what the client server model means is that i'm the client i want to send email to someone else so um i will send the email and then I will have some kind of relay back um, that will say, yes, it's sent or, you know, or, or something like that. And it's sent on to their, their server. Um, and then we will use something like IMAP to download it to our, to our machine. Um, what used to happen before we had SMTP and IMAP and all of that was that um, I had my computer and we didn't have an email server we had um, the email stored on our computer or our device. So I sent the email directly from my device to the other person's device. If I lost my computer or accidentally deleted the email or something like that, I didn't get it back, which was a nightmare potentially. Um, and then SMTP was invented. So what that means is that I can download a copy of that email to my device 
um, from the server, but it's also stored on the server as well. So even if I accidentally delete it, I can go and get it back. If I delete it off my device, it's still on the server. If I have all my emails on my phone and I lose my phone or I break it, I can log into um, my email server on another machine and, and I can still get to it. So that's that's um, why SMTP became a thing, basically. Um, IMAP is a standard email retrieval protocol, so it allows us to download the emails from the server um, and it will synchronize it across those different devices. So I can, I can get my email from my phone, my laptop, a tablet, um, computer in the office, something like that. So, so IMAP will synchronize um, the emails across all of those different um, devices, which is, which is great. Um, and we can organize them into, into folders and, and things like that. So it can, it can kind of synchronize the folders um, it'll flag any messages that we want to flag. It will um, save any draft messages on the server. You know, so if you start writing an email and, and you don't finish it, it'll save all of that kind of stuff um, as well for us. And then we also have something called pop. Um, so pop. And a lot of times you'll see people talking about pop three. So pop is post office protocol. So you might see it talked about with along with SMTP. So prop uh, pop prop pop is a one way client server server protocol. So it will receive the emails and hold them on the server. So if we go back to our diagram here, um, so this is my machine, and I use SMTP to go over to here. Um, so if this is the email server here, it will use pop um to basically receive that message and store it here and then imap is used over here to actually download it to the person's computer see how bad i am at, at writing with these um so all three of them kind of go in and hand in hand um so the majority of email servers and clients will support pop and will support imap so they're, they're the most common. You'll hear people talk about them all the time. You'll maybe have noticed if you go into Outlook on your machine or you go into Gmail or something that you can, it'll say, you know, if you want to set up a new Exchange server or something like that, you can put in the, the specific pop and, and IMAP details. Um, a lot of the time your work will do all that for you, but you have the option to do that as well. Um, and they, they allow people to download the emails to their device and, and things like that. Um, so that's SMTP in a nutshell. It's used for for transferring emails. Um, and it's you know it's a it's a TCP um protocol. So if you watched our TCP/IP video, we met we mentioned SMTP in that as being one of the one of the common protocols. Um, so hopefully you learned something about emails and how they work and how they're sent. Uh, if you haven't watched our TCP IP video, definitely go and watch it. Um, there's a lot of information in there. And I'd also recommend you watch our OSI model video if you haven't done that already as well, because that'll fill in that'll fill in some blanks. Um but yeah, hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll I'll see you again soon for some in the future. Bye.